Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to this Let's Try of a board game adaptation to iOS called Evolution. I think it's somewhat similar to the game Wingspan. This place is spectacular, full of species beyond your wildest dreams. Okay. So I haven't played the game before. So let's say tutorial time. But I believe you basically have predators or uh, prey species you can play, and the idea is you try to make your species stronger over time. I think so. Could be wrong. But I think I've seen at least the board game rules on YouTube before. Look right there, your species is hungry. Drag it to feed. Okay. Excellent. That food is worth one point at the end of the game. Okay. All right then. So we want to eat the most food. Add population to eat more food. Okay. So we increase our population size. Oh no, another species has come to the watering hole. Now you're competing for food. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I see it. Hmm. Okay. Egad. So now we both ate a food. Two population didn't get food and starved. So you have to balance population with the amount of food you can eat. All right. The environment can be unforgiving. Ah, a trait gives your species new abilities. Add a population so you have enough population to take two food. Okay, I take one additional plant food. And we can do that, if it'll let me. Oh, since I already have the trait, I put it into the population bubble, and it becomes population. Okay. Marvelous. Your species is adapted to eat faster. Go ahead and feed. So, looks like there are two foods. Yep. This time it was your opponent who was short food. Or no opponent. As you can see, skillfully adapting to the environment determines who will survive. Fair enough. Okay. Kinda cutthroat, ain't it? Eat the most food and win. Let's go to a watering hole. Traits, population. So that's how this version does it. Alright. Play cards. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a thing. You can also use your cards to create more species. Okay, I only have the cooperation card, so I guess we'll do that. Splendid! Oh, a new trait, cooperation. Try to place it as a trait on the correct species. Okay, where do you want it? I guess on you. Lovely! Choose the correct species to feed first. Okay, who... What does cooperation do? Every feeding share one food to the right. Okay, so I'm glad I put it on this one. Oop. So we did that. Every species you keep alive, you get an extra card. So that's why you want more species, because then you get more cards. Okay. Clear. Okay, it's my turn now. That's why I have my little Apatosaurus icon. I think that's the right name. They keep changing it. Used to be Brontosaurus, then Apatosaurus, etc. etc. At the start of each round, you add food to the watering hole. That number on the cards is that food value. You've got two population to feed right now. Choose wisely. Okay. Alright. So their food value. You add food to the watering hole. Take an additional plant food. Uh, let's add this seven. Okay. This is more than you can eat and gives your opponent free food. Let's choose again. Okay. So we want to add probably this one. Just enough for ourselves without excess leftovers. So, okay. Any card can make any action. Let's review the three things you can do with your cards. Play a trait. Okay, let's do... Foraging minus three. Since that's probably something we don't really need. Add a population. Um... 
we probably don't need another cooperation. I was thinking we'd do that, but you know, we don't need to. Let's do that. Make a new species. Let's put it to the right, I guess. Eat up. Around ends when all species are fed. Well, the food runs out. Oh. Well, I'm glad you gave me a lot of food. Thank you. So, yeah, we feed with you. Okay, so we fed. You die, right? No. no you can go. Sweet. Okay. So everybody gets a chance to feed. Got it. And it goes one, then the other, then blah blah blah. So our opponent will start feeding this turn. Hmm. Choose any food card. Okay, well we've got three, so we want to put three in there. Or four, but we don't have a four. Hmm. I think we'll put this one in, because I think having another foraging is better. Okay. Let's do cooperation on you. And then foraging. Right? Maybe? No? Hmm. Let's put foraging over here for now. Um... We'll call it good. We could make a new population. Is there any reason not to add population? Other than they just die. Hmm. Let's do that. Okay. We can hit the undo button. Just hold the intern when you're done. Um, let's make a new species just in case. Touch and hold. Okay. There we go. You know what, Quill18 might have played this. Lovely. Touch and hold in turn when you're done. Yep, we knew that. I would like to see the action. Thank you. Alright. Back! Our opponent went first and gobbled up the food! Okay. Oh well. You going. So we got our two food on you, and everybody else dies. Yep. That happened. Okay then. Hmm. Round four. Select food. So we go first. The green dinosaur shows that we go first this time. Alright. So don't leave any leftover food. We're putting the three in there. Play cards. Putting you over here. Alright. I think that's good for now. Okay. Play your trade cards. Um, put that over there for now. End our turn. If you want a closer look at your opponent, pinch and zoom over their species. Alright. Yeah, they've got foraging and stuff as well right now. Go ahead and feed. So we do that. We take three out of the five. So he will have troubles feeding all his peeps. So yeah. Lost population. Okay. Hmm. So it's kind of a game of chicken. Seems appropriate for evolution. Alright. So yeah, I do keep my card from last turn if I don't play it. So that is the benefit of not playing something. Okay. Yes, thank you for that helpful thing, covering my cards. Alright, what's a long neck do? Before feeding begins, receive one free plant food. Well, that's good. Um. So let's... Food card. We play the three, because I think we can add a new thing as well. I might be wrong about this. Drats. We eat last again. A long neck can reach food outside of the watering hole. Okay. So, what I'm thinking I'll do... Add new species. 
A long neck. A long neck. Okay. In turn. Alright. Our final score is all the food you ate, plus your ending population and your ending traits. Okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! He ate all of the food. Okay. So we had two population at the end. He had three. Then we have our trait points. I had more. And then, yeah. Hmm. So who wins? Oh, I had one more! Take that, opponent! Alright then. The game ends when the deck runs out. This looks like the last round. Okay. You won! You've earned your first discovery! One more win, and we'll rank up. Okay. Just one more watering hole until we reach base camp. The next opponent tends to bite, though. Ah. Here's where we get introduced to the Predator cards. Not, you know, the alien Predator thing, which has a laser cannon. That would be pretty insane, and I think they just win. Nature is beautiful, but not always peaceful. Ah, carnivore. Okay, then. So, yeah, I think they can eat your opponents. I forget how that works. It's been a while since I've seen this game in action. Select food. It's working just fine on iOS. In a standard game, you get three cards per round, plus one for each species you have alive. Go ahead and pick a food card. Uh, I guess we're doing this one. In a standard game, you get three cards per round. Plus one for each species, blah blah blah. Strange, I seem to hear growling off in the distance. Um, let's do... Man, these have a good food amount. But I think we're going to do... Boop. Bop. End our turn. Hmm. Okay. So it's gonna eat me, I think. Dim's teeth. Carnival. No cooperation. Must attack and eat other species. Sounds a carnival. Okay. Must attack and eat other species. Yep. Go ahead and feed. Okay. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. This is horrendous. I'll teach you how to defend yourself. So doesn't it lose a population too? It did. But it doesn't die off entirely. Okay. Okay. So there should be some traits that help hurt carnivores and stuff too. They can't eat plant food. It's all ours. Play your food card. Oh, if that being the case, <laughs> maybe we just do like what? Seven food. Boop. Okay. I guess it can't add any prey species anywhere. Hmm. Or herbivores, I guess I should say. Can only attack smaller species. It's currently a body size too. We must defend ourselves. Ah, body size. That's what I was forgetting about. Um, let's put that there. Now you know all four ways to use a card. New species, population, trait, body size. See if you can create another species. Unprotected too. Species. Hmm. Okay. So... I think what we're going to do is long neck, because it can't really fight us for food in the middle, so we shouldn't need that stuff. Uh, and then uh, cooperation to increase body size. And then we'll do this. Okay, end our turn. See how this goes. Wait, it's size four. 
Or no, okay, its body size is two, but it has a population of four. So chain is the law of nature, the big eat the small. Fair enough. Alright then, you go eat and share. Yay. And then it dies, and we live. Carnivores can't eat flat food from the watering hole. This one just lost population. Okay. Round four. Okay, now it's not a carnivore. There we go first, right? Ah, new trait climbing. Hmm. So we don't need to add food. So we might add the zero. What does climbing do again? Must have climbing to attack this species. Ah. Uh, let's add zero for now. Choose a food card. Both defense and offense. Okay. Climbing. Climbing. Mm. Let's use long neck, increase population, and then foraging. Okay. Uh, we don't need to do this. Okay. I want to save at least one card for food, I think. Only a climbing carnivore can reach prey hiding in the trees. So it just became a carnivore. It's got a body size of three. So it can attack us. But we're climbing, so it can't. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And there's eight food in the watering hole. Okay. We should be set. Now there's five food in the watering hole. All right. Our opponent's having a tough time reaching us. All right, then. What's our next little round? Okay. We could make our own carnivore. We're last in the turn order this time. This is often a good time to go on the attack. Choose a food card. Hmm. Let's... We don't really need much. Go ahead and put you in there. Okay. But now, we can make our own carnivore, right? Yep. Let's evolve into a carnivore. Okay. That's what I thought you'd say. Hmm. So for that... Let's get rid of our climbing. Turn it into a carnivore. It'd be nice if I could see better. <laughs> uh, does forging... Now we'll use you. Increase body size. How big is our opponent again? Size 2. So it has to be bigger than that. So we'll do that. And we can actually give it a larger population as well. Okay. In turn. So we should be able to KO two of his dudes. We can no longer eat from the watering hole. But we take out some of his stuff. Feeding time. Okay. Let's attack the one that just fed. Right? Or do I choose? I guess I can't. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. We do that. So all of our other stuff is fed other than our carnivore. So, who do we attack? I guess it doesn't matter. Boom. So that's one. Actually, it says two, huh? Does body size count as food amount? It looks to be the case. Okay. So I was thinking we'd eat multiples. But that is wrong. And that makes sense. Otherwise, you'd take way too many of another player's species. Okay. Last round. A great time to extinct our opponent. Oh, that's not very nice. Um, so we need at least three for our side. Let's be a little careful in case they do a negative. Because we're going to eat them anyway. It's a good idea to adapt your carnivore in case your opponent increases defenses. Either add an offensive trait or add body size. 
Okay. No, we don't need you. Increase body size. There's a chance he'll increase body size. He's got four cards, yeah. Um, we don't need the long neck right now. But I think what we'll do is make... Yeah, I think we add a new species. Did it climbing, long neck. And then we just make you maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that. And in theory, we should be able to get plenty of food for everybody as long as we let our uh, uh, herbivores go first. Okay, so yeah, it didn't have climbing. So all of our other dudes are fine because they can just climb. Oh, they added a lot of food as well. Okay. You go foist. Then we feed our dude. Nice. Then I eat you. Take that, carnivore. Okay. Sometimes you'll even have to attack your own species with your carnivores if you can't eat theirs. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So we need to keep some of their stuff alive for our carnivores, apparently. Or, you know, just make a bunch of things for our carnivore to eat. Okay. We did pretty good. Clearly, the game is holding our hand a lot, but still. Nice. Okay. So we did that. We're now getting a new species, apparently. Huh. Looks like a bird-insect hybrid thing. Pretty impressive. Okay. By jump, we made it to base camp. And let's go. Biology student is my new title. All right. That victory music's pretty loud. <laughs> Say, I didn't catch your name. What shall I call you? Uh, call me Ishmael. Actually, no. We'll go with Jalna. Boop. Boop. Bop. Okay. Uh, don't lose your progress. Uh, well, okay then. I guess I'll do that too. Alright, I put in my email. I've now got an account. Uh, one thing to note, at least on iOS, is it seems to add a space after you type in your email. Uh, you have to go back in and delete that extra space at the end for it to accept it as an actual email. At least that's what it seems like for me. So, maybe you won't have that issue if you don't use the Microsoft Swift Key keyboard. Anyway, every week a new challenge arrives. It will necessitate you change up your strategy Unlock the hard AI, weekly challenges, and much more with the full game. So it's seven bucks for the full game. Hmm. Okay. So what do we have without that? Because right now I'm playing the free version. Hmm. Okay. Continue the campaign, I suppose. All right. So for any parents watching, just so you know, this is rated ages nine plus. Uh, you can go and play with people online, so that might be a concern. Um, once again, you saw the in-app purchase to unlock the full game. Looks like it's normally 10 bucks. Right now it's on sale for 7 Maybe that's just because I just started the game? I don't know. But this is based on the Evolution board game. And the violence you saw of the carnivore attacking the prey animal, the herbivore, was pretty much as violent as this game should get. So if that bothers you or you don't want your kids necessarily dealing with that, that's the spiel. Anyway, moving on. Let's play. Switch to brutal mode, eh? Hmm. Lions aren't especially fast, so they rely on teamwork and strategy to hunt. Each member of a pride has a specific role to play. Some flank the prey, while others lie quietly in wait. Oh no. Master each watering hole to advance on Evolution Island. Each apex species you can defeat will be added to your single-player menu. Legend holds that somewhere on this island the fabled Dominator hides. Here we see nature's great arms race in action. As predators develop new strategies, their prey evolve new defenses. Warning Call warns nearby species of approaching carnivores. Warning Call protects the species on each side of itself. However, it does not protect the species it is on. Ooh. Okay. 
Beware, as predators have evolved to ambush in order to sneak past warning call. Ambush only works on a carnivore. Species with a hard shell have the same defensive strength as those with larger body size. Okay. Doesn't change its actual body size. Interesting. Small predators can work together to take down species with much larger body sizes. Pack hunting allows you to hand your carnivore's population to its body size to get a new total attack size. And only affects attack size and doesn't help on defense. Be warned, this is a vicious watering hole. You must take first place to advance and face the mighty Carnivorous Barbaris. Let's play. Alright, so it's probably walking us through how the cards in the full game uh, actually work and stuff. So we don't want to add too much in. Uh, but we could get a carnivore and pack hunting. So maybe a couple carnivores. That's an interesting idea. And if we do that... Should probably let's get rid of cooperation. So that's a lot of food to place out there, but hey, that keeps our opponents alive, and then we can keep eating our opponents. Right. So in theory, if we do this, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Hmm. Nobody else has a higher body size, right? Do I need a higher body size to eat something? I think I do. Well, I guess we'll do that first. Okay. So I can eat somebody. Properly. Okay. Hmm. I should draw more cards than everybody else. There's a ton of food in there. Who can I eat? Defended by hard shell? No! Body size. Uh-oh. So I can only eat my own dude. Eesh. Goodbye, dude. Auto feed. Alright. Hmm. Well. This got more difficult. Warning call. Forging. So yeah, we definitely do that. The only question is, do we make more carnivores and stuff? And I think the answer to that is nah. Kinda need this. Okay. Now we can eat somebody. Maybe. Unless they protect themselves. Okay. Otherwise, I go extinct. So that's the problem with going carnivore early, it looks like. Uh, you've got the hard shell. Who can I actually attack? You? You're the only one? No. Oh, food. Oh, okay. We only took one of their population size. That's right. All right. So we can do pack hunting. Let's get rid of some of their plant food. can do this, and that, and that, and maybe that'll be fine. Guess we'll find out. Carnivores you usually want to go into later in the game. I made a gamble, a desperate aggressive gamble, and it may be stupid. Okay, what do we get? Who can I attack? These two. So either one I go after will have issues. This guy has more body size, so there's a higher chance this guy will be able to evade me in the future. Okay. And I get points based on my population size as a carnivore. Oh, card. Regularis. Um, I've already got that. Let's go ahead, not add too much in, okay, and then we could make our own little herbivore, so I think I will, yeah, I am curious, can we feed our dude? 
Let's increase population. Nobody else has created a carnivore yet. We're doing that. Okay, end our turn. So the guy to the left of us is first, so we're probably last to feed. So far, so good, though. Alright, you can attack these two. Hmm. Go over there. Spread the love. And you can go. Take your one. Uh, we can make you a little bit smaller as well. Okay. So basically we're taking population from other people. All right then, do we want another carnivore? Probably not. Okay, let's do foraging and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get rid of our carnivore. Make sure there's less stuff for them to fight over, I guess. Hmm. It's a lot of food. I want to increase population with that. Foraging. Boop. Long neck. And then we can increase population or body size. Um, so far nobody else has made a carnivore, so let's go with this for now. And then I think we're good. We might have troubles with our predator being able to eat people. But I think we can still eat, yeah. We can still eat the top dude and the left dude. So we should be okay. This guy, bro, is trying to make me work hard for my health. Okay. So with that being the case... Hmm. Okay, do we add anything? Let's get rid of you. They'll probably add some more in, since it helps them out. Um, Gates warning call by attacking. We can give a hard shell if we wish. But I do want to see if this works for our dude. We don't really need any of that. Increase our population. Uh, nobody has any extra species yet. So that shouldn't matter. Let's see. Five, four, four. Yeah, we should be able to do this. And I think we'll go ahead and add... Okay, we've reached our limit of six population. Looks to be the case. Okay, anything else we can do? Yeah. All right. Hmm. So now we know there's a population limit. Yeah, as I suspected, they added more food. So you can attack anybody. Hmm. Let's knock him down a notch. Because that's our current competitor for the prize of first place. Okay. Can I see how much they have? Hmm. Not really. Okay, so now we could make some more dudes. And yeah, it didn't look like we really shared to the right there. Hmm. What do we add? Let's add another carnivore out there. We shouldn't need another carnivore. No real point. So, I think what we're going to do is use one heart shell over here. Cooperation. Foraging. Increase population. And I think we're good. Okay. Hmm. Alright, you go first. Get all the food for you and the other guy. Nice. Okay, and our carnivore should still be able to hit somebody. Hey, everybody. Let's go to the right, since that guy was collecting a bunch for a while. 
Okay. So yeah, we should be ahead. Once again, there's no obvious way to see everybody's score right now. Hmm. We're at five, so you know what? I will add a bunch of food. Okay. Let's see what happens. Play your trade cards. Hmm. Could get another dude. And I think we will. Do this. Long neck. That gives us another point. Morning call. No. We don't need foraging then. So what do we want to increase? Anybody? I can't increase body size or attack power any further. Hmm. It looks like I could make him omnivorous, maybe? Intriguing. Hmm. Um, for now, I guess we just wait our turn. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Okay, and then I think we want to hit the guy on the left, actually. With our carnivore. Run. And then we lose a bunch of our dudes. Not great. But we got an achievement, apparently. Okay. Well, that's what I get for using up all my high food cars at the end there. Okay. Wow, our carnivore got us 32 points, though. So, a slow start, but it definitely worked out. Hmm. Well, okay, then. New species created. Uh -huh. They like a turkey. I like it. Field in turn. Okay. Continue. So yeah, so far that's Evolution the Board Game on iOS. Let me know if you want to see more of it, dear viewer. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to see more iOS gaming videos. Comment below once again on if you want to see more. Or, you know, not. That's fair. What do you think of the music? I like it. It's a little loud in the victory screen, but yeah. I mean, it probably should be. It's kind of what victory is all about. <laughs> so I hope you have a great day, dear viewer.